Let's get into this man who is sexually attracted to balloons. My name is Julius, I'm 62 years old, and I'm addicted to balloons. Damn, it must be real awkward to go to birthday parties with this guy. He's just fully erect in his pants. Everyone's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> and he has to be like, no, it's not what it looks like. <laughs> it's just there's so many goddamn sexy balloons in this place. They're beautiful. They're soft, smooth, delicate. I have a connection with them. Man, the way that they film this shit is so funny, though. The, like, silhouette of him just holding the balloon up to his face, just staring it in its fucking little knob hole. Intellectually, I know that balloons are not alive, but sometimes I wonder if it's my love for them that brings them to life. Just sitting on the side of the pool, just staring at a balloon. Look, intellectually, I realize, you know, they're not alive, but my dick would say otherwise. <laughs> Julius has been addicted to balloons for over five decades. It started when he was a child as an innocent attraction to the shapes and colors. Now Julius has filled his home with over 50,000 balloons and can't sleep unless he's surrounded by them. I mean, even when you love something, you don't surround yourself with 50,000 of them and then not be able to sleep unless they're like huddled around your bed. That'd be like a, a straight guy having to be surrounded by 50,000 breasts or else he can't sleep. I love all balloons, but I do have my favorites. I like the crystal clear, the, the transparent. You know, it's like a soap bubble, you know, you can see through it. I, I've got the long ones, the round ones, but my favorite is the spherical ones. Why? I, I don't know. I, I guess it's like a guy that prefers blondes or brunettes, you know? Do you think he's kind of like nicer to some balloons and shittier to other ones? <laughs> he's like stroking the purple balloon like, you know, I love you, baby. And then just berating the fucking yellow balloon like you shut up get back in your room but julius's obsession with balloons goes beyond shapes and colors my love for balloons it's also a sexual love uh, there's something kind of just gross when you're talking about a balloon sexually and they show the little close-up of the fucking little the, like the, uh, what do you fucking the nubby part the fucking little like nipple fucking butthole looking thing <laughs> yeah this whole thing i don't know this might ruin fucking balloons for me when I see a, a beautiful balloon, my heart starts to flutter and I get aroused. I'll take a 12 inch and I'll inflate it to 11 inch. That way it can take a lot of abuse. That way it can take a lot of abuse. At nighttime, you just hear the squealing of a balloon up against skin, just <laughs> I'm holding one, you know, hugging it. I'll kiss it. And it's like being in heaven. I mean, don't you like to hug and kiss the woman that you love? <laughs> Imagine you're just like making sweet love to a balloon and then it pops. <laughs> oh, oh God, oh God, why? Devastated, like as if he just popped a woman. Lunar is a nickname for people with a sexual fetish for balloons. Well, fuck me, hey, there's, a, there's at least more than one. And that's something. Also, I don't know if they're, they're calling you a lunar, maybe loony. Uh, I don't like that they try to make it cool by giving it a fucking nickname. <laughs> there's lots of people out there that feel the same way as I do about balloons, but there's two groups. Why'd they have to fucking combo that shit together of like a toe fucking playing? Ugh. But there's two groups uh, of the lunar group. You got the poppers that get aroused by popping balloons, and you got your non-poppers. I'm a non-popper. Ooh, man. Imagine being a pauper and you're at like a gender reveal. And while they blow it up and everybody's cheering for it to be a boy or a girl, you're in the corner just blasting off. But Julius doesn't share his extreme love for balloons with many people. The only people that know him is my family. My wife thinks it's strange. All right, so he's got a wife, I guess, who probably was like, please don't show my face. This is horrifically embarrassing or even better the, the camera like pans over and it's just like a balloon animal woman <laughs> just in the corner <laughs> or a blow-up doll i mean that would kind of make sense for this guy wouldn't it in all fairness and she did she refused <laughs> Oh man, I fucking nailed that one, eh? Today, his nephew, who's also an addiction counselor, 
wants to confront the issue and convince Julius to see a therapist. If you feel like it, you have to keep things hidden, especially something like this. There's obviously a problem. So how long have you been doing how many years all together do you have collecting these balloons oh collecting them i started when i was about eight okay all right how oh, okay so basically your entire life that's cool never knew that about you uncle it's an interesting thing to learn about your uncle man known, known you known you my whole life had no idea you were fucking balloons so that's why you never came to my birthday party right <laughs> you want to be around all these kids with balloons causing a scene so you're 62 now so that's what 40 40 years, years. Wow. wow that's quite a it's quite a bit of energy time and energy man there's no way he didn't tune into that like recent david blaine balloon trick thing where he floated up using all these different helium balloons man he was that was like a two and a half hour stream or some shit that must have been fucking just like a godsend would you be willing to go and, and, and talk to somebody. Okay. I've seen a psychologist before, and about the only thing he said to me is, well, you're not hurting anybody, so why worry about it? I talked to a psychologist before, and he was like, I agree, balloons are fucking hot. I see nothing wrong with loving balloons, and I'm gonna continue to love balloons, because that's what makes me happy. Well, there you go. <laughs> didn't know that was a fucking didn't know that was a thing although you know i the, like the level of things that actually surprise me these days is pretty low it's not very often that i actually like find something that blows my mind if you can think of it somebody's done it or thought of it themselves it's so fucking difficult to to uh, name something that doesn't already exist like if you're like ah how about like a, a guy who who fucks balloons yeah well there's actually a name for that. So, I mean, this is the world we live in, baby. You never know who's lurking around fucking rubbing one out to some fucking stretched out rubber, bro. <laughs> Floating stretched out rubber. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and fucking smash your face into the like button. Hit subscribe. Maybe ring the notification bells if you want to be notified when I upload. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Peace. I'm a non-popper.